Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, SEO-friendly URLs for your Yahoo store. Hey guys, this is Shauna, and have you ever added a new item to your Yahoo store, clicked publish, went to your new item, and then wondered, how the heck did Yahoo come up with that URL? Well, that URL is technically called an ID in the Yahoo store. And today we are going to show you how Yahoo comes up with those strange IDs and how to create your own SEO friendly IDs. What happens when you create SEO friendly IDs on the back end of your Yahoo store? You create SEO friendly URLs when you publish your website. So let's get started with learning how Yahoo creates those funky IDs in the first place. You may have noticed that I've been adding a product into our Yahoo store and hit the publish button. So let's take a closer look at the ID that Yahoo created for our new product. Now we're going into the published version of our website to take a look at the new item we created. More specifically, we're looking at the product URL or ID that was created by the Yahoo store. And as you can see, it's quite a mess. So let's go back into the store editor and take a closer look at this product and the ID that Yahoo created. Once we go into store editor, we need to make sure we're in advanced mode in order to look at page IDs. So how do you know if you're in advanced mode? You'll see two lines of buttons. Now, you can easily switch back and forth by clicking on the red arrow. This is beginner mode. This is advanced mode. Again, we want to make sure that we're in advanced mode in order to look at page IDs. Now that we're in advanced mode, we can go to our product, we can click edit, and we can take a closer look at that ID. And if you look closely, you can tell what Yahoo has done. And what they've done is they've taken the first two letters of each word in our title to create the ID for this page. Once it reaches a certain amount of characters, it stops. Well, that's nice, but it's just not good enough. We want to make it SEO friendly. Let's go ahead and just delete this product page completely and let's go ahead and create our own unique ID. So click on contents, click on new, and put in the ID that we want to use. Now for the type, we're gonna choose item and then we're gonna click continue. Now, let me give you a word of advice when it comes to the item as the type of page you wanna create. Doesn't matter if it's a section page, an item page, or an informational page, Always use item. It's always will work out perfectly for you. Now, let me give you some advice on the ID that you're going to put in. First of all, don't go crazy. Don't go making it, you know, way too long. As a matter of fact, last time I looked, I think Google AdWords had a maximum of 1,024 characters that you could use for your entire URL with the domain name. Um, my advice is use three to five of your top words only. Okay. Get rid of words like and or or <laughs> um, with is another one that you want to get rid of. Concentrate on your keywords instead and this will help you create SEO friendly product URLs and IDs. Now the next step is we're going to click on the cut button. And the reason why is if we look at this page and we look at the breadcrumbs, you'll notice that it says home and then it has the product name. The reason why is this product basically right now is in nowhere land. It basically has no home, which is why the breadcrumbs specifically just say home. So basically what we need to do is cut this product and give this product a home. If this was an informational page, we would need to give it a home as well. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. All right, so we're gonna go up to the top and click cut. And notice now we have a clipboard that says click to insert. So we're gonna go into the section that we want to put our item into, click on the name, and it inserts our product into that section. Take a look at the breadcrumbs and now it says home, frog accessories, and has the name of our item. And that's because we actually put our item into our category and gave it a home. All right, so what happens if you accidentally forget to click on the cut button and you wind up clicking somewhere else and, oh my gosh, you've lost the product. Where is it at? Do you have to create a new one? Well, not really. All you have to do 
is click on contents up at the top and then scroll down to the very bottom of the page. Here you'll find a list of IDs that basically are products or item pages or even informational pages that kind of have no home. Click on it, click cut, and then go ahead and paste those wherever you're wanting them to be in your Yahoo store. So let's go ahead and take a look at our website and publish it and look at our new SEO friendly ID that we created. So taking a look at our published website, we go click on that new product we created and let's take a look at that URL. We created a new SEO friendly product ID in the back end of our Yahoo store. And now that we've published our website, we have a very SEO friendly URL. This is Shauna and I'll talk to you soon.